things that God likes. That's what I want to talk about this morning. I have discovered that He loves it when we love on Him with our praise and when our, with our worship. Some of you thought that it was a little cool in here this morning. The reason we left it a little cool this morning, because I hope you work up a sweat. I'm not just here to preach you a word. I'm here to give you a word, and I'm here for you to practice what I'm preaching. Y'all still aren't with me this morning. Four times in our text, he said, Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Four times. When you look at the things that, that the psalmist said, why would not somebody want to praise him? He said they were wandering around with no place to go. They were hungry and thirsty to the point that their soul was going to faint or that they were at the point of death. But they called out to the Lord and guess what he did? He delivered them out of their distresses. I said they were in prison, suffering in chains because they had turned against the word of the Lord and refused to hear the advice of the Lord. And so he put them in judgment. But when they called out to the name of the Lord, guess what he did? He saved them out of their trouble and broke their chains. They were physically sick because of their own foolishness. They had done things to their own bodies and they were suffering from the effects of their foolishness. But when they cried out to God, guess what he did? The Bible says he sent his word and healed them. They were on stormy seas. They were in those big ships. And, and the waves were so great that when the boat went up, it was almost like they were going to the heavens. And then when they had to come down, it was so steep, it looked as if they were going to make their way to the bottom of the ocean. They were unsteady. The Bible says they staggered them like drunk men. They were seasick from the turmoil, turmoil of the sea. But guess what happened? They called out on the Lord, and he calmed the storm to a whisper. And he stilled the waves. He said, oh, that men would praise the Lord. If the truth is known, some of us have been in some distressing places. Some of us have felt like we were absolutely going to dry up and die. But you called out to the Lord. And guess what he did? He heard you and he delivered you from your distress. I wish if you'd ever been through a distressing time, you'd just take a moment to give God some praise for it right now. Come on, if you've ever been in a distressing time. Some of you have been imprisoned. I'm not necessarily talking about jail or penitentiary. Some of you have been bound by stuff in your life. Some of you have been bound by pornography or alcohol or drugs or lust or greed or anger or bitterness or unforgiveness or, or, unforgiveness or jealousy. But I want to tell you, you called out to the Lord and He broke you out of your prison and broke your chains. I wish if you've ever been delivered, you would shout some praise. Some of you have been sick. Maybe you were sick because of the stupid things you did. I'm not here to cast judgment on you or, or to try to heap condemnation on you. But I'm telling you that you can do a lot of things with your body. And it will adversely affect you. And it will, it will cause you great trouble. Maybe you're sick because of something that you've done to your own body. Or maybe you're sick today because of some attack of the enemy. But I want to tell you, if you'll just call out on the name of the Lord, He'll send His Word to heal you. If you've ever been healed, I wish you'd give Him some praise. Come on, give Give him some praise. Some of y'all been on some stormy. Some of y'all been on some stormy seas. 
Some of you have been in places where the waves were so high you couldn't even see the ground. Sometimes you were going so headlong downward that you wondered which way was up. Maybe you felt like you were seasick. Maybe you were staggering around as somebody didn't know what they were doing. Can I tell you, if you'll call out on the name of the Lord, He can steal the stormy waters and bring peace to your life. If you've ever had a tumultuous situation in your life and the Lord brought peace, I wish you'd praise Him right now. I wish you'd praise Him right now. Oh, that men would praise the Lord. Oh, that men would praise the Lord. Oh, that somebody in the house would just praise the Lord. Come on, we'll sing this song. Give God the praise. Give God the praise. Give God the praise. Praise Him when you're weak. Praise Him when you're strong. Come on. that when you praise him you look like and act like a madman when you're praising God the people that are sitting there with their arms folded looking down their nose at you to those people you look foolish that's exactly what the word means he said I will declare thy name unto my brethren in the midst of the congregation and I will halal thee I will madly praise you I will look foolish if I have to look foolish that's exactly what David did when he escorted the ark of the covenant back into Israel he danced and twirled with all of his might you know what he was doing he didn't care if his wife was looking out the window Brother Terry, I just don't think we ought to act like that. Then all I got to tell you is you need to take it up with the one who wrote this book. God who inspired this word, who God breathed this word, who sent the Holy Ghost and anointed men to write the word, declared that we ought to give praise to the Lord. And it's time that we quit throwing up a little old hand like this and do a little foolish look and pray. Hallelujah. Bless you, Lord. You are holy. You are worthy. We praise you and lift you up. Oh, that men would praise the Lord. I'm telling you, he loves it when we love on him with our praise. We praise him for what he's done. We praise him for who he is. We praise him for his word. We praise him for his promises. We praise him for our present. And we praise him for our future. We just need to praise him. Somebody help me praise him. 